Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 14 of this Let's Play, Hearts of Iron 4. This is Novus Imperium Romanum with the Vanilla Plus mod. In the previous episode, we finally took down the Soviet Union, hence Italy is l larger than life across the world map there. The Third Reich also took out France, and I think that is basically where we stand. Now, because the Soviets were in the war on their own, we have actually managed to completely take their territory. We don't need to occupy them. So we are now planning on an assault on Bulgaria and Turkey. However, the problem that we are having at the moment is there is something of a balance issue here with manpower. You can see we are on zero. We currently have service by requirement. The next one is all adult serve, which we cannot get until we are at war again. However, the Third Reich, oops, that's France, is already on scraping the barrel. That is the final one so they're probably also out of manpower and i noticed the allies were on service by requirement i was thinking okay they must be doing okay with manpower like uh, they'll probably survive except i just realized that democratic governments cannot select all adults serve democratic governments cannot select scraping the barrel which means they can have even less manpower than we do so i kind of suspect that this game is now broken um you simply can't fight without manpower. And it's only 1942. Like, if this was 1945, then yeah, okay, I could kind of see that. But this is 42. This is kind of the height of the war. In fact, the height of the war haven't even started yet. Historically, the USA wouldn't even be in. So the fact that everyone is out of manpower already is kind of silly, honestly. So what we'll probably do is attack Turkey and Bulgaria, and then I'm going to call it. I Basically, once you're out of manpower... There's no replenishment, you can't build more divisions, it's just kind of silly. And yeah, in fact all of these I might as well just cancel them, because I have no manpower. They'll never be built. Oh, we got a tiny bit. In fact, I'm going to build it so we just get the tanks. Oh, we'll let those three go. So we're just going to get these tank divisions and that's it. And even those... You're pointless. You're pointless. You're pointless. You have some of it. Alright, so that's what we're going to have to live with. Is what we have there. We're back at zero. And that's it. That is the rest of our army. All seven divisions that we can add to it. <laughs> um, right, so we are fabricating on... Turkey. We're just going to wait for that to finish. And then we'll declare war, at which point we can then switch to um, all the adults serve. But the Allies are probably even worse off manpower-wise than we are, which is probably actually why France suddenly collapsed. I would assume that's when they ran out of manpower, and because the Third Reich being fascist and not Democrat could get all adults serve and then finally scrape in the barrel. And we kind of got lucky, just because our divisions were so much stronger than the Soviet ones was why we took so few casualties in relation to them. Mostly because of how much artillery we have, I think, probably. The other thing we could do is switch to a completely mechanised army so that our manpower are much harder to kill. That would be one solution, but if our enemies can't really put up a fight, then there probably isn't that much point in continuing, honestly. 77. Because, of course, as we're like broadening who's in this war, Although, I guess, <clears throat> the only ones that probably still have manpower of the neutral powers are probably Turkey, Iran, Brazil. In any major numbers, and probably Mexico. So if we declare war on any of those, we'd probably actually lose the war. Let's get artillery. Right, so when does this come in? 14th of November. Let's just skip through until the 14th. Do, 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 do. Meanwhile, what are the Germans doing? Atlantic Wall. They're actually deleting factories, I think. Or maybe that's just narrowing the uh, information we have. That could be. We have slightly less factories than they, and about half as many. Infantry divisions. 
And no one has very many planes, because we don't have the manpower to actually support them. Well, the Allies do. There we go. Istanbul, just fired. No. We have three military factories. What should we use these for? We have two. I think one technology we will need to get is mechanized, and then just start churning out mechanized units, and then upgrade our infantry to mechanized. These guys. Factories. What are we going to do? All of them are already full, so I guess we can just basically just go. Yeah, that'll do. Right, Bulgaria. Did you finish too? Second of February. All right, let's do the declaration of war on you then. <clears throat> The Allies are entering. We are now at war with the Allies. Off we go. And that's fine. No. That one I'll accept. Now I can modify my government and actually get some manpower. Woohoo! And very soon we can go to scraping the barrel too. So we have 1.1 million again. Poland. Poland are out. Oh, I need to switch where my tanks, uh, my tanks, my, my, <clears throat> my navy is patrolling. <clears throat> you are currently patrolling over there. I need to expand where you are patrolling. Search and destroy here, here, and here. That should stop any naval invasions in this area. And hopefully is sufficient naval power to take out British Navy. Non-aggression with Siam, non-aggression with you, and you, and you, and no, not with you, and you. Slovakia. Are they a German puppet? I think they're a German puppet. You are a German puppet. Okay. So our Alpine troops are doing their thing over here. Quite easily, in fact. Which is good to see. And who's this? Non aggression from China? Sure, why not? I was going to say, why aren't you moving? But that's probably because of supply lines. Yeah, there's lots of naval combat going on. Like this. But we're pretty dominant here in the Mediterranean, so we should win that one fairly easily. No national focus. I think we should probably go for for jet engines. Yeah. Why not? I'm losing about the same amount that they are. Oh, the German naval bombers are helping us. Very good. Oh, right, and I have manpower again, so I can actually build more divisions. I'm going to get the scraping the barrel, so I'm just going to build a whole bunch of divisions and call that done. We'll go down to about 600k. Oh, these ones can't be afforded, so I'll cancel them. So we have some gear at least. Okay. And a couple of tanks. Why not? That'll do. We'll get the deficit soon enough. December. Looks like you're pushing nicely. You must have mountain fighter. No, you still don't have mountaineer, even though you are my alpine army. Mental. Port strike. It's not good. I should probably hide my fleet a bit better. Battle fleet. Let's say that you're 
naval base is here. If I can remember how you do it. Oh, it was control click. Or is it because you're fighting a battle? Yes. No, that's submarines. You're fighting over here. Okay. Field Hospital 3. Cool. Let's get mechanized. Right. Is my navy now free to move? Pretty please, with a cherry on top. You. Nope, battle fleet is still fighting. We sank a carrier. Very nice. They're sinking my submarines pretty effectively, but we seem to be sinking more of their surface ships. Bearing in mind we are fighting the combined might of the French and the British navies here. I'm going to assume that we haven't fought them yet. This is a big navy fight. Support weapons 4. Excellent. Let's get... It is now 43. More industry. And we don't quite need to go for fortified thingy yet. Maybe we'll go for Atlantic Fleet Designer so we can get these bonuses in the future. We're sinking a lot of their fleet here. They're sinking a lot of our destroyers, admittedly. But this is a very decisive battle going on right now. And we're thrashing them. Ooh, look at all those. Nice! Oh, can we get those two carriers, please? Yes. Yes, we can. <laughs> cool. Right. Main Navy. That's you. Hi. Your. Thank you. Centred in Istria. Well, hopefully we're out of the range of their Air Force. Because their Air Force is probably hitting us from Malta and from Cyprus. So Thessaly is in a bad location. While up here, we're actually more secure. In fact, let's make it Venice. Okay. So how big a victory? Oh! Okay, so we lost 30 destroyers, they lost 32. We lost one on a uh, heavy cruiser. They lost one battle cruiser, two battleships, one carrier, 32 destroyers, four armored, sorry, four heavy cruisers. Some games they call armored cruisers. Nine light cruisers, three submarines, and a couple of planes. So this was a big victory for us. And here another one. Oh, they just lost one destroyer. And here. They're hitting my subs. Right, my subs should also be... Oh. <laughs> Only actually have one unit of subs left. Whoops. You should also be based out of here. No. Venice. And then... You? Oh, I see. You two are supposed to be in my battle fleet. I just didn't have you added. Mistake! Alright, so battle fleet, you and you. Merge. That'll do. Meanwhile, in Turkey, the war goes on. Except it doesn't really. Can we please continue assaulting? Trying to open them up from as many different angles as possible here. So have one of you go there, one of you go there. You're all going to have to hit here. One there. One there. Yeah, that'll do. Not pushing down here so much, but we are pushing along here. Oh, it's across a river, no wonder.
Oh, right, yes. And the British will be pouring up through Syria. From Egypt and the rest of Africa. Speaking of Africa, they are pushing us in over there. But I haven't exactly put a lot of men in Africa, so I'm not entirely surprised by this. They've not tried to push us in Ethiopia at all. All right, how's the uh, production going? Slowly, but it is going. We have a lot of divisions on the way out, which will bolster our forces rather significantly. Okay, maybe this playthrough isn't entirely over, but it, it does feel like the Allies are just out. Let's switch to advanced artillery. As soon as I remember how to do that. Right, and we're out of rubber. Is there anyone that we could be buying it from? In fact, what are we short on? Ooh, we have no no imported steel now. That's nice. We do need more tungsten. And rubber. China can sell us five, and that's it. So we kind of need to head over here, because that's where the rubber is. We have spare factories. What do we want? More artillery, because I think we're going to have to make up that deficit. Cool. Onwards. It'll be nice once we can take out Bulgaria, because then we can open up a second front on this side. Meanwhile, how's the Navy doing? Yeah, we're now starting to hit convoys and things, which is nice. How are the British fleet looking? 125 to 142 compared to our 109. So they outnumber us slightly, but they are still protecting a much larger empire than we are. So we've probably taken out their Mediterranean fleet, I would guess. Uh, can one of you go here? Do not push. Good. Just making sure we get this border along here while we take out Turkey. Which will be lovely! Half of you can go there, half of you here. easy victory and there we go justification for Sophia is completed so let's declare war here too boom and then you are a go as are you and then let's slow things down again Bulgaria join the allies that's fine to be expected uh, you come on guys you can push like right now not you because you're holding that line you lot certainly can. You're pushing, excellent. You lot are. Okay, good. Meanwhile, on this front, it's all looking good. Denmark's joined the Allies, Norway's joined the Allies, they've declared war on Norway and Denmark. Okay, so, so the um, Axis are opening up a couple more fronts as well, which is lovely. I'm going to leave you guys for the moment. Up here, however, you can go here. You can go here. Supported by them. Okay. The Spanish state has joined the Axis. Cool. So Spain's on Germany's side. Meanwhile, Bulgaria should feel the squeeze. Yeah, they are. Where did we put the yellows again? Oh, they're just on garrison duty, aren't they? Just in case we get navy assaulted. Which shouldn't happen because we have superiority. Navally, naval superiority. Cool. Meanwhile, in Turkey, we are basically just maneuvering into position, so let's halt this offensive so that we can get a bit more preparation bonus, because we're still having to defend this southern front, which is fine. Meanwhile, over here, come on, guys. There's so few of them compared to us. We got this.
There we go. Squeeze. Keep squeezing. We should try and take these as soon as possible, actually. To prevent them from bringing in reinforcements by sea. Although they can't because we have superiority. Never mind. Right. Bulgaria has capitulated. Excellent. So let's stick you on this front. Marvellous. And then tanks. Um, basically the same. Stick you on that front. Your objective is Istanbul. More. How long until we get this? 32 days. Okie dokie. What are we short on? Are we short on anything? Not really. We could use some fighters. Where are they getting superiority? I mean, not very many places is the answer. Um, so we could get an air force in here. Let's grab 500 fighters and just have you fighting over here. Okay. And we are building some close air support. That's all we can really build. We have 15 factories available. Are we still low on motorized? Yeah, let's jump you into motorized for the time being. And then we'll start building mechanized when they become available instead, so in 32 days. Marvellous! Right, so the offensive on this side should happen. And in fact, Istanbul's going to fall. Because you haven't fortified it. Thank you very much. So kind of you. And I think we can say, you guys, go. No? No go? Come on, guys. Let's go. Easy. Meanwhile, over here, let's just keep on pushing them. <laughs> They're all being cut off. And there we go. Okay, so that has fallen. Can we get across here? I think we can. Yeah, we can. Yes, we literally can. Alright, so let's build a border here. And say we want to take this. Okay, maybe not that coastal bit. Tanks, we just want you going through the middle. Like that. And then you guys are also getting a front here. And you are going to take the opposite side of that river up to about here. And you guys... Oh, I see you've actually achieved your objective. Oh, my bad. No, you're not going to do that. That would be silly. Then let's have you guys on the other side of the river. Kind of like that. Oh, wait. Um, didn't realise that we were on two different borders over here now. You lot are still assigned to that. You should be more than enough to defend that side. Let's have you take that. Okay. Go. Go. Should be more than capable of literally just rushing out here and just taking everything. Like, Turkey should fall really easily now that we have them on two fronts. New national focus. Air effort. Why not? It would be kind of nice to see how much manpower the Allies actually have. Or if I could see any of their divisions 
and I can kind of judge how much mum power they have. Wait, 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 what? For many years now, K King Victor Emmanuel III has watched his Prime Minister, the self-styled Duce Benito Mussolini, with a mix of fear and confusion. Whilst the King was content to let the foolish clown prance around the world stage for as long as his antics brought Italy diplomatic and military prestige, without spilling of blood, now, however, the war effort in is floundering and the Suez Canal remains in Allied control. Mussolini has been arrested and the King has requested that Pietro Badogolio be sent for. Right, so we lost one of our best generals. Fantastic. Um, you're the only field marshal left. Mussolini took down the freaking Soviet Union. Are you kidding me? Just because we didn't take Suez, because we had not actually been at war with the Allies. In fact, we've only been at, ally at war with the Allies for, what, three months? Four months? Mentalists. We're thrashing the Allies. Oh, research lot. Right, because we just got that. So let's get the other side. And yes, many naval results. Losing a couple of convoys. But that seems to be about the extent of it. And here we go. Our troops causing some carnage. Pouring across the uh, strait. Meanwhile, are you guys assigned to this? Because you should be. So one of you go there, one of you go there. You go here, 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 and you can go here. Actually, you can go there. So South Africa is really low on equipment. And that equipment can also mean manpower. So that is something I will keep an eye on. If I see any allied armies... In fact, look at Germany. Look at how strong Germany are. That's probably purely manpower, because they have really a lot of factories. Okay, the UK is still at full strength. At least that division is. So Germany is basically out. So yeah, I think I am going to call this the last episode. I mean, just as it's getting interesting, because we're now at war with the Allies, but the, the changes to manpower haven't worked, I'm afraid. They just have not worked. <clears throat> so I haven't exactly been spending manpower frugal, um, willy-nilly, because didn't use my air force, because we just had too few planes. I've been using, like, top, top, top d division uh, unit sizes. And there goes Turkey. So, I think I'm going to call it at this point. We haven't quite taken the Mediterranean, but we certainly would have. We would have had to go on to war with Germany over France at some point. Again, that would have been another interesting thing to do. But manpower, it's just not really worth it. Because our enemies are not going to put up a fight anymore. And we have still got one more manpower tech that we can do, which will basically destroy our industry. Um, but we have a ridiculous amount of stockpile at this point anyway, so and that's only going to grow, because no one, we have not got anyone to actually use that stuff. Which is unfortunate, but so it goes. Mods, as always, do just need a little bit of extra balance. So thank you very much for watching anyway. I have enjoyed Vanilla Plus. It has added quite a lot of new uh, flavour events, which I've really enjoyed. And like how it changes the way that China works, despite the uh, Mongolian holes, but that was because state sizes have changed. Not their fault, it's because I continue to a save in a new version of the mod, which is never recommended. Um, this is kind of interesting. The war for Germany, yeah, it's good. I like it. It just needs a bit more work, but that's always the case with mods, trust me. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you are enjoying, or if you have enjoyed this series, then please do hit that like button. If you have not done so already, then please do consider subscribing as well. If you have any tips or advice for me, then please do let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and thanks to the uh, Vanilla Plus guys for making this mod and like telling me about it. It's been fun. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.